Okay, uh, let's look at number 13 here. Uh, we're being asked to determine the shape of the distribution of temperatures uh, in the morning. Uh, and that's the first column. Uh, so we have, I've given you guys uh, one, two, three, four, five randomly selected cities with temperatures. I've selected Glendale twice, I guess, because I live here. Uh, but nevertheless, and the question is, uh, look at the morning temperatures uh, in every city uh, for seven day periods, the seven day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine day period, and um, tell me if it's uh, uniform, skewed, or uh, symmetric, or normally distributed, the bell shaped curve. So I've uh, taken uh, what's important, which is the days and the temperatures, and uh, for each city, and I've only looked at the focused on the morning temperatures. So, uh, and then I've graphed them. So I put Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I put it in one column here. Basically, I've created a frequency table, uh, itemizable. Uh, and these are the temperatures for each day, for the morning, for the first city, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So here are the five cities. Uh, and then I've basically selected the values just as such. And I've gone to insert and I've created the histogram. And that's how, and I've made it smaller, whatever. So that's how these histograms have been created. And now, uh, if we look at these histograms, uh, so if this is something you have to do, you'd have to uh, do what I've done and create the histogram so you could actually look at the shape of the histogram and determine if it's, uh, uh, if it's uniformly distributed or is it skewed or is it, is it, is it like a bell-shaped curve. Which are the three main distributions that we've looked at in the lecture notes there are thousands of different distributions but uh, these are the main ones so let's look at the first one uh, first one I mean you know some of these are subjective really uh, I think uh, I think uh, I think this one looks to be skewed to the right okay so this one looks like it's skewed to the right and this one looks pretty much uniform doesn't it really, I mean, it's, it's a little goes up in here on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but it's really not a skewed distribution and neither is a normal. So it looks like a uniform distribution. Uh, this, this, this could be looked at skewed to the left. Yeah, because it kind of, you know, these two are anomalies, but overall you see it goes up here. So basically a skewed distribution here. So uniform here for sure. I mean, people could look at it as a skewed, but that's yeah, uh, not too much difference to be skewed. And and the last one, I mean, I don't think this is anything. This is uh, this is really. Uh, if if these final columns were all small, then it would would have been a skewed distribution. But it, I mean, you know, you look at it as a is it a uniform? Is it a um, a normal distribution? Is a bell shaped curve now? I mean vaguely but not really so this is basically has no sort of distribution here that we've looked at in terms of whether it's uniform skewed or uh, symmetric or normally distributed.